Stay connected to the feeds. Yeah, it's subtle. Since the top of the train is always the same distance from the road, that wire can't always be the same distance from the road, and the connection always has to be there. We're gonna keep following Peter. Yep.
Look at this. So that's where we had breakfast yesterday. That's the train station and the bus station. And all the bikes come through here too. Bike station? We're about to go to the bike station. That's where we had breakfast, right there. That's the train and bus station. The bike stations, I think, are more everywhere else. Look at that building. It's got a hat. that one across the way it's a square and then it has a hat on it that's also a square but it's turned 45 degrees that is a boat where you just park your bikes yeah that's pretty crazy they're not water bikes no That's a boat, that's a ferry boat. So you can ride your bike onto the ferry boat and then do a track stand all the way across. That's the bike station. Not today. Uh, and so far, although, so that's also interesting case maybe, uh, the socially, because the conservative papers were all suggesting that, oh, it's going to be fatalities, everyone's going to die, mayhem, and so on. Uh, and so they opened this, uh, what, 18 months ago, November 2016. And there's been one incident where a cyclist and a, and a scooter rider uh, Oops. Well, hit yes. each other. Uh, they got off and off, off they went. Uh, probably they swore at each other or something, but, but then they went off. Um, other than that, no problems. No. So he was saying this is their first shared space where they, you see they removed the bike lane from this area. Uh -huh. And you said 6,000 people per hour pass through yeah, here? Yeah, I think so. But uh, I sent you in a video like just for, for you know, how, how, how you see Micro cars trip me out. Yeah. They're the, about the funniest thing I've seen. Uh, so even in this one, actually, you can see that it's a, it's a conflict for the non-car users because in the 70s they did build a, uh, a tunnel. So just oh, you see those those two pillars. Yes. Yeah. Those are the exit for for the tunnel, and it goes in uh, like right where you saw that big. Uh, Water area on the right, so just there it goes down, and it's, uh, it's a long tunnel. It's uh, two lanes both sides, so they did ha have investment for that. Uh, but for example, not even scooters allowed there, only cars and, and proper motorbikes. Do you feel that it's a good idea to segregate different users or different modes, or depends on the context? Depends on the context. Yeah. So, so I think very much what happens. Uh, yeah, so if you go, if you think about like like uh, busier roads and arteries, then uh, then you always have segregation. Yeah. Uh, but when it comes to like, like uh, inner town, then there's less need for it. Yeah, essentially people, you know, look at each other. Right, as long as you can make eye contact with somebody yeah. and be going fast enough to adjust. Yeah, so that's why it doesn't work fun. with car users, yeah. because you can't really see them. Um, yeah, there's also actually a very, I don't know if you saw, uh, that study came out last year on uh, Daddy? Yeah. Uh, traveling together and separately. Might that be the title from... Yeah, there's a lot uh, of people from the there, University of Amsterdam. And that just discusses even how people interact uh, on which mode. We'll get on so, a ferry boat maybe uh, after we get 
the wall, or probably transport. You can and we'll go see what's on the other side. You don't have to look at anyone. You kind of just we can rent these bikes again. You can ignore everyone else. For cycling, but you do have like inconsiderable ones. You know, you can go. And I would say that someone deserves it. Yeah. Yeah, he's working. <laughs> well, then just uh, on footage. <laughs> At least the aftermath of it. You think he's okay, Willow? Yeah. Maybe all right. Oh, and there's a car that's not a small car. Oh, no, those are, yeah. So that's a small one? Yeah. Uh-huh, going pretty fast. And this is the hot zone. You see how the ground doesn't change? It's all bricks through here. It's bricks for people and it's bricks for bikes. That means bikes need to go slower. Yeah, not fast. Not fast, that bike was going fast. Here's how the ferry works. It picks up people on the other side and comes and drops them off here. And then other people, they get on the ferry here and go to the other side. Does that all day? Uh, what was I? Oh yeah, about sharing. Yes. Yeah. So sometimes uh, I, I think, uh, uh, there, there can be more shared spaces. Uh, so uh, of course, if you consider even the the graft areas like shared. Well, of course, they try to protect the lesser areas because it's so much clutter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in some yeah. areas, it's I think already um, like cyclists don't really stop for red lights. So they already consider pedestrian cycling that okay, that's the lights are for drivers, so it's it's fine for them. Uh, so that's I think that's kind of like the the transition in the shared space. Uh, what we saw when we took all the lights is also a place where where it's not really sharing because there is some kind of uh, priority, but 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 still there's a, a sense that it's everyone's space. And I think it's also tricky in environments where, where uh, so the, the gender or or social segments how how they interact. So uh, I do notice that that uh, stronger segments of society, even here where it's kind of normal, uh, they would take the the priority. So quite often I, especially if it's if if, if not. Well, I'm guessing because like, there's a lot of people posted up people there waiting to get on here. Ferry, that that they there's probably that a ferry. I coming. see sometimes that you know women will stop for me while they have the right of way. So how do you know when you have the right of way? Uh, because you have this kind of like the the the, the triangles this, on the ground? yeah. So those signs are essentially like what do you call them? The uh, uh, like alligator teeth. Yeah. Uh, Mongolian teeth. So essentially, those would be suggesting. Okay. So if uh, you have those. Let the other yep. okay. yeah. There's a lot of, lot of things happening now, huh? <laughs> yeah, we got a good spot, a good yeah. time. It's not every day you He's see a delivery driver day. dump his moped. Or is it? I mean, I kind of feel bad for him because obviously, obviously like, uh, it's like you know, pressure from work to deliver fast. Uh -huh. Her coat She's matches the bike. To, uh, provide rather you know, sticks and carrots by the fact that only cyclists are allowed to go through. And here comes another ferry. Uh, also because of the ventilation system or the lack of it. Uh, and yet, oh. yeah, you can't really force it. So sometimes you do see. I also know that sometimes you do have like policemen in the morning, you know, in rush hour. Uh, but it does happen. Um, so yeah, there are three main parking areas. Uh, we are going to pass one, which is the lower one. This is here. Uh, and I'm thinking about the blue ones. And they also open now a, a paid one, just over there. Inside the bus. Yeah, uh, which is one euro per day. Uh, and essentially it's uh, a protected and B, uh, you always have space there. Whereas if you're in a rush, you might uh, uh, run for a train, you might not find one, or you take a few minutes. 
getting to the train stations so they wouldn't take a bus or any kind of low level uh, transit but they would just cycle to the transit hub um, because it's flexible, they go wherever they want, uh, they take the route wherever they want uh, and they go to these, to these transport hubs which in the last 20 years they found that thanks to this uh, at least half of the passengers on the trains are actually arrived there by bike so uh, there was a, a study also made by the EU uh, to assess that and, and they find also that the additional service of having a bike share uh, service at the, at the away uh, point uh, allowed them more, more people to cycle to the station because they, they, the passengers said that the most important thing is to have a parking space at, at the area where they arrive and also to, to, to continue their journey from the wayside uh, as opposed to taking their rental car or a bus because then again they need to wait for the bus and so on. Um, Would you say most people that have bikes here, oh well, yeah, no, it has to be, oh, okay. do they bike from around Amsterdam and leave their bike to take a train out or do they take the train in and their leave a bike here? No, that's around quarter, so Amsterdam has around 850,000 uh, uh, residents and around a quarter of a million comes in every day. Uh, a lot of Amsterdam residents also go out. Uh, I think what you see parking is mostly of course for those the little cars uh, and then That's went crazy. somewhere else. Although there's also now re there's, there's a decreasing pattern but there has been a pattern of people having two bikes. So if they commute let's say to The Hague or to Rotterdam, 